Looking at my history is a little contradictory Cause all this time I wanted love but falling Hey guys, my name is Gloria. Welcome to my channel. Today we are doing a tiny waist workout that will help cinch in your waist. Now all you need is just a little mat and follow along. Our first workout, we are going to do a little warm up and we're gonna start off with stomach vacuums. Give me three more seconds. Great job, breathe out. Now we are actually starting our first exercise in this workout. We're going to lift our knees to a 90 degree angle, fold them up and keep your back as flat as possible to the floor. One way I like to do this is by lifting my legs up a little bit and bringing them back down so that it helps to bring my back as flat as possible. And when you're doing these crunches with your upper body, there's no need to yank your entire upper body to your knees. All you have to do is just bring your ribs as if it's touching your hip bone. Just bring it a little bit and breathe out as you go up. Give me 10 more. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, keep breathing out, three, two, and one. Now we're going to hold this and only drop our legs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Now we're going to hold this position and we're just going to extend our legs. Two, three, keep breathing, four. For this movement, make sure you're using your lower abs. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Keep breathing. Now you can put your hands underneath your booty if you need more stability. If your neck starts hurting again, you can put your hands underneath your neck to support your neck. Or you can even drop them down, whichever is most comfortable to you. I like to keep my head up so I can target my upper abs as well. Now we're going to keep that position and keep breathing out as you go up. And we're doing big circles with our arms. Big circle, bring it back up. Keep breathing out. Make sure your back is flat to the floor. Give me 10 more. Nine, breathe out. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one. Perfect. Now we are on to our next exercise. Take a quick little break. Now we are getting up from the floor and going into our high plank position. Make sure your arms are straight from your shoulders. 
Hold your stomach tight, keep breathing. We're gonna hold this for a little bit. Keep breathing. Hold, keep your stomach tight. Keep holding. Just a few more seconds. Almost there. I'm struggling, but don't give up. Now we're lifting it. We're lifting our booty and we're folding our upper body. Alrighty, so I'm gonna flip so I can show you better. I'm going to fold our upper body. And when you're lifting up, try not to use your legs or your arms. Bring it up using your apps and bring it back down while tensed. So fold it using your apps and tense them. Let's do a couple more of these. Keep breathing. Breathe out as you come down. Breathe in. Breathe out as you come down. Keep going. You're doing a wonderful job. We are almost there. Just a few more. All right, come down. Take a little break. And we're gonna get into this little bug position just by lifting your knees. Hold it, hold it for a few more seconds. Keep holding, drop them down, take a quick little break. And we're getting back into that bug position. Lift up your knees, hold your core tight. Make sure your booty isn't way above your knees. We'll now put it down, take a quick little break. And we're getting down to our plank position. We're gonna hold it a little bit and we're doing 10 hip dips. Eight, keep breathing. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now stretch a little bit. And we're going to get back on the floor again. Getting back into that crunch position. And we're doing 10 of these. With your hands together, bring them up. Keep going. Keep breathing. Eight. Seven. Now when you're bringing your arms above your head, you don't want to loosen the tension of your abs. You want to keep that tension and bring them up. Think of it as in sunking in your lower abs and breathing out. Almost there. Just a few more. And we're done. Great job, guys. We're doing mini crunches. So extend your arms straight and go up, breathe out as you go up and make sure your back is flat to the floor. Your legs are in a 90 degree angle. It's not tilted towards you or towards the wall. 
it's at a perfect 90 degree angle where you're tensing your lower abs and your upper abs. And that was it. We're doing just one last exercise. We're doing stomach vacuums. Breathe in, breathe out. As you've sunk in your stomach, we're doing 30 seconds of this last movement and we're done with this entire workout. And that was it guys, great job. You did an amazing job for this workout. It was definitely a burner. I'm so proud of you and you will definitely be proud of yourself. Continue doing this workout once every two days and I would suggest doing it for three weeks to a month when starting a new routine. I hope you enjoy this one and I will see you in my next workout. Bye.